Good evening, YouTube, and welcome to our uh, our review of Tommy Wiseau's. What's it called? The Rue. That's the one. Mm. Yes. And let's just say now, this is a film of quite a reputation. A reputation of grandeur and splendour, which most films couldn't accomplish. Or, to put it another way, you have people who survived Auschwitz, you have people who... <laughs> Take it seriously. I'm okay. <laughs> you have people who survived Auschwitz, you have people who survived the death camps of Pol Pot. You have people who survived 20 years of Tory government. We <laughs> we survived the room. <laughs> Directed by the um, cinematic wonder king who is Tommy Wiseau. Tommy Wiseau. Or, to put it another way, a refugee from an alternate reality where Sylvester Stallone had a much worse stroke <laughs> and carried on making movies. <laughs> I said to you during the film that he looks like Brandon Lee if he survived the gunshot. <laughs> 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 okay. Oh, right. <laughs> but in all seriousness, the plot of the room. There's a plot? Yes, there was. Um, involves the um, character of Johnny played by uh, Johnny, uh, <laughs> played by, I'm sorry, Tommy Wiseau, mm. who of course as well produced, wrote and directed this movie. Um, he plays the character of Johnny who is literally described at one point in the movie as an angel because he um, is soon to be married to Lisa who will of course tear him apart <laughs> later as the film progresses. It's a weird one. The what I got from the plot, and like, it is difficult to get shit from the plot, but like, there barely is one. It's about the uh, downfall of a relationship yes. that everybody on the outside sees as the perfect relationship, which it clearly isn't. And well, it is for Tommy, isn't it? Tommy's fine with it. Yeah, but Tommy's... That's in my heart! <laughs> Tommy is a fucking reader. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's got his fair share of problems as Tommy. Bless his cotton socks. But yeah, basically, Tommy and Lisa in love. Everybody's like, oh, fucking hell, they're the perfect couple. And Lisa's fucking about with his best mate, and who's yeah. called Mark, isn't he? Yeah. Um, and who reminds people seven times during the movie that she's sleeping with his best friend. Yeah. I counted. The, it's so There's awkwardly no... written. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Sorry. Inject. Basically, we were fortunate in that we went to see it with a movie audience that got the joke. Yeah. We were fortunate. We went to it in a night house screening and they were laughing. Um. The film is just bad. There's certain movies that you watch that are bad that have a charm that will never. You know, go Showgirls, Plan 9 from Outer Space. These films are bad. Showgirls, but they're good. You, what, you watch Showgirls to masturbate, and then it's a bit of a struggle to stop yourself from falling asleep. Pretty not, much. not only because of the post orgasmic chill, just but because of the movie. The thing with Showgirls, the thing with Showgirls is you always come, and it's not easy. Which is a testament to Paul Verhoeven's direction in that movie. I think, I we're, gonna, to, I think we're gonna be cutting this part out. I want <laughs> to arouse you, but I don't want you to come. Not to my movie. I want no, maybe my movie. Anyway, back to the room, back to the room. Starship too. Troopers. Indeed. But back to the room. The awkward thing about Tommy Wiseau of the room is that basically Tommy Wiseau looks like an animated corpse. <laughs> he literally looks like an animated corpse. His body looks like a selection of strung together meat, which has been left out way past its sell by day. This would be fine if not for the simple fact that you see a lot of Tommy Wiseau's I've, body in this movie. I've seen more of Tommy Wiseau's body than I have of my own. 
I feel yeah. like. And the thing is, we sit here and we make fun that the fact he looks like a zombie or he looks like Frankenstein's lover. But the point is, the dude has something wrong with him. I'll, I'll, tell, you, I'll tell you what he looks like. It's just from me, I'll tell you what he looks like. You remember the lead singer from Type O Negative, Pete Steele? He looks like Pete Steele. It looks like Pete Steele's court. <laughs> Got up and made a movie. <laughs> made a, you can't even call it a movie. <laughs> but like, as I said earlier, it's so poorly written. But not only that, like, the actors try to deliver it with a straight yeah. face. It's bizarre. And it's also Tommy Wiseau's diction. The way he delivers delivers the lines is he goes from low to high. So it's literally like someone is rhythmically squeezing his scrotum <laughs> as he's delivering <laughs> monologues. There's certain films that are so bad they're good. This is not one of them. In fairness, for the first hour, so like, it felt like we're about five hours into it. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's a 90 minute movie and yeah. it felt like it was four and a half well, hours Because long. basically of the amount of superfluous scenes, the amount of scenes that are literally a, a replay of a conversation you've already seen or random shots of Tommy walking, there's the working out and football scene which has no relevance to the movie where... The one that got on my tits, sorry to interrupt, but yeah. the one that got on my tits was every scene between... Sorry, I'm touching you in a gay way. Every oh, I think we've crossed that bit. Uh, every, <laughs> we crossed it when you blew me. Every <laughs> scene... <laughs> Sex is funny. Every scene... Is, <laughs> every scene... It is with the faces that you make. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you look like Tommy Wiseau. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy Wiseau, my hair grows and everything grows. <laughs> 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 oh, nearly swallowed my tongue. Anyway, every scene between Lisa and her mum was exactly the same. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, I mean, I, let's just prefix digression. Yeah. We, I, I at least, you may be, I was drunk watching this, as you can probably tell, and looking back on it, I'm pretty sure that every scene between Lisa and her mother yeah. Used the same lines of dialogue yeah. almost. Yeah, I want to leave Tommy. I don't love him anymore, but he provides you financial security. Blah, 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 blah. Big spoiler, Tommy kills himself at the end. And we were <laughs> literally chanting, Do, do it! <laughs> do it! Yeah. <coughs> that brings us back to the... <coughs> oh no, so go, go on. Um, it's just bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't have the strength. It's just bad. It's the just thing bad. is, though, like, you know what you were saying earlier, that the audience was into it? Yeah. Everybody was shouting at the screen. Um, you know, there's a few famous lines from it. Yeah. Like, you're, you're turning me apart, Lisa! <laughs> Everybody yelled at him the theatre. It was brilliant. And at the end, we were given plastic spoons at the beginning of the fucking showing and at the end it's the credits roll everybody was applauding yeah it's fucking awesome you know and everybody threw the plastic spoons at the screen it was it was brilliant that's the best time I've had in the cinema <laughs> yeah, in a but long the fucking time the film is awful what we should mention before we wrap this up is that this piece of cinematic ass crack <laughs> well punctuated there um, had a budget of six million dollars Awful movie. I'm not gonna lie to you. One of the worst I've seen. Yeah. I've sat through Transformers too. It's, it's I, bad. The room is bad. Having said that, with the right audience and the right amount of these bad boys, it's enjoyable. You're gonna watch this footage tomorrow and decide you can't use it. You're, you're too armoured. You're too armoured. Ah, right. Come on, kill it. Right. Star rating. There isn't. Yeah, there isn't. The Room. Watch it with a good audience. Sorry. Shh. Watch it with a good audience. And it's a good night out. I'll, I'll give it that. Mm. I enjoyed myself. It was shit. It was shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was shit. I can't let it go. It was shit. It was fucking awful. It was bad. I kind of want to know. And um, uh, this is my closing thought. Okay. I'm, concer closing. Yeah. I'm concerned about the well-being of Tommy Wiseau. And I think people should look out for him. Yeah. Oh, I'm not Wikipedia that for shit. Like, I don't, don't want to know more about something wise. Oh, well, that's just me. Oh, switch camera. Don't go see the room.